चालू आहे या ऍक्टिव्हिटीज मध्ये आपण फिजिक्स ची लेक्चर सिरीज आयोजित केलेली आहे पाच लेक्चर होणार आहेत त्याच्यामध्ये त्यातलं दुसरं लेक्चर आज होत आहे हे दुसरं व्याख्यान देण्यासाठी प्रोफेसर एस एच पवार सर इथे उपस्थित आहेत त्याचबरोबर आमच्या कॉलेजचे प्राचार्य आमच्या फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंटचे एच ओडी विवी किल्लेदार सर सगळ्या डिपार्टमेंटचे एच ओडी तसेच आमच्या कॉलेजचा ज्या कॉलेजेसची एम ओ ए आहे त्या कॉलेजेसचे सगळे फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंटचे एच ओडी इतर शिक्षक आणि विद्यार्थी सर्वजण इथं जे उपस्थित आहेत त्यांचे मी आमच्या कॉलेजच्या वतीने मनपूर्वक स्वागत करते आणि आता आपण व्याख्यानाला सुरुवात करण्या अगोदर फक्त एक दोन मिनिटं किल्लेदार सरांना एक अनाउन्समेंट करायची आहे ते करू देत तर प्रथम तो मी अच्छा या व्याख्या प्रमुख वक्ते आदरणीय डॉक्टर यशेष पवार सर महाविद्यालय वती आम सर्व विभाग प्रमुख वतीन मनापास स्वागत करते मैं थोड़स प्रस्ताव कराए आज कारण सर ओख कमले सर कर थोड़ा सा आज का दिवस हा एक वेगड़ा इवेंट है मनु मैं थोड़स सर बदल बोला सर आता जस्ट पंचहत्तर वर्ष पूर्ण करता है पंचहत्तर वे वर्ष सुधा सर डायनेमिकनेस जो है वो तसा टिकन है ये पैलदा सर्व विद्या सर्व शिक्षक ने लक्षा घे तुम्हारी मना की जर चली उभारी आल तो वय का आड़व ये नहीं अपन यठिका लक्षा जरूर घयाव अजू दुसरी गोष्ट मे सर पंचहत्तरावा विद्या आता पी एच डी चबमिशन करना है बगा विचार करना सारी गोष है आजी सर वय पंचहत्तर पूर्ण होते है आता सर पंचहत्तर वे वर्षी पंचहत्तरावा विद्या आता पी एच डी का थे सबमिट करते कार्या कर्तव्य पूर्ति मनु सर पंचहत्तर हूँ अधिक डॉक्टर पदवी मिल विद्या येत्या मंगळवार दिनांक एक जून दोन हजार एकवीस रोजी गुगल मीट द्वारे एकत्र येऊन सरांचा सत्कार करणार आहेत मी पण तुम्हा सर्वांना विनंती करेन की या कार्यक्रमाला तुम्ही सर्वांनी सुद्धा आवर्जून उपस्थित राहायला हरकत नाही कारण एक नामांकित शास्त्रज्ञ म्हणून सरांची ओळख आहे आणि विशेषतः शिवाजी विद्यापीठामध्ये जे एनर्जी सायन्स डिपार्टमेंट आहे हे डेव्हलप करण्यामध्ये सरांचं खूप मोठं योगदान आहे आता मी सांगितलं पंचहत्तरावे विद्यार्थी म्हणजे तुम्हाला असं लक्षात येईल की सरांची आता दुसरी पिढी पी एच डी स्टुडंटची म्हणजे याच्या आपले आता सध्या जे प्रफुल गुरु आहेत पी एस पाटील सर ते सुद्धा सरांचे विद्यार्थी आहेत सी डी लोखंडे सर आहेत ते आता डी वाय पाटीलमध्ये काम करत आहेत माझे गाईड सी एच भोसले म्हणजे विद्यापीठा जे आता तुम्हाला दिसतील ही कार्यरत असणारी ऍडमिनिस्ट्रेटर लेवल लेवलला ही सगळी म्हणजे सरांचे पी एच डी स्टुडंट आहेत हे आपण इथं लक्षात घेतलं पाहिजे अजून एक सरांनी पुस्तक पण पब्लिश केलेलं आहे ई बुक्स आहे ते सरांनी मला त्याची पण लिंक पाठवलेली आहे तर ते पण लिंक मी तुम्हाला आपलं हे वर्षा पूर्ण होताना त्या पुस्तकाची लिंक पण देणार आहे मी साडेचारशे पानाच्या वरती पानाचं पुस्तक सरांनी नॅनो टेक्नॉलॉजी नॅनो सायन्स बद्दल लिहिलेलं आहे जे अलीकडे संशोधन करणारे विद्यार्थी आहेत त्यांना ते खूप मार्गदर्शनाचं ठरू शकतं तर ते पण पुस्तक आम्ही तुम्हाला शेअर करणार आहोत अजून एक रात्रीच माझा सरांचा माझा फोन झाला आणि त्यावेळेला आमच्या बऱ्याच गप्पा झाल्या त्यावेळी सरांनी हा एक मला गोष्ट सांगितलं की त्यांचा एक इंटरव्ह्यू घेण्यात आलेला आहे म्हणजे हे जे पंचाहत्तर वर्ष पूर्ण झाली त्या निमित्त एका चॅनलवरती सरांची मुलाखत घेण्यात आली तो पण व्हिडिओ चिल्लन सरांनी मला पाठवलेली आहे ती पण लिंक मी तुम्हाला शेअर करणार आहे तुम्ही ते पण ऐकायचं आहे हे सगळं मुद्दाम सांगतोय कारण या ऍक्टिव्हिटीचा उद्देश तो आहे की मोटिवेशन देणं मुलांना मोटिवेट करणं त्यांना प्रोत्साहन देणं आणि त्यामुळं आपल्या समोर असे काही आदर्श व्यक्तिमत्व असणं आवश्यक आणि त्यामध्ये सरांचा उल्लेख मी आवर्जून करेन अधिक न बोलता परत एकदा मान्यवरांच्या इथे स्वागत करतो आमच्या महाविद्यालयाचे प्राचार्य आहेत तसेच पवार सर सगळे विभाग प्रमुख सर्व माझे फिजिक्सचे सहकारी प्राध्यापक आणि माझे सर्व विद्यार्थी जे नक्कीच या कार्यक्रमातून मोटिवेशन घेतील आणि फिजिक्स सारखा विषय निवडतील काही जण म्हणतात अवघड आहे तर मी म्हणेन अजिबात अवघड नाही दॅट मॅटर्स विथ युअर इंटरेस्ट इन दॅट सब्जेक्ट जर तुम्हाला इंटरेस्ट असेल तर या जगात काय अवघड असतं तर ठीक आहे एकदा सर्वांचे उपस्थितांचे 
आज सगळे विद्यार्थी इथे गुगल मीटला जॉईन झालेले मला दिसत आता माझ्यासमोर आणि तिथे आपल्या युट्यूब चॅनलला पण तीन साठ विद्यार्थी जॉईन असतात तर त्या सर्वांचं मनपूर्वक मदत करतो की मी विनंती करतो की त्यांनी या सेशनचं चेअरमनशिप स्वीकारावी आणि डॉक्टर शिवाजीराव पवार साहेब कारण शिवाजीराव असं उल्लेख केलेला जास्त होत आमच्यासाठी सर एस एच पवार सर आहेत पण सरांना शिवाजीराव हा म्हणजे त्यांच्याकडे मोठ्या लेवल मीटिंग होतात त्यावेळी सरांना नावानिशी ओळखतात हे फार महत्वाची गोष्ट आहे तर मी अधिक आता बोलणार नाही कारण मग त्या कांबळेकरांना ओळख करायला काय राहायचं नाही तर कांबळेकरांना विनंती करतो की आपण सरांची ओळख करून द्या धन्यवाद एकच मिनिट सर एकच सर जस्ट मिनिट फक्त सर्व विद्यार्थ्यांना एक सूचना आहे की तुमचे माईक आणि व्हिडिओ बंद करा प्लीज म्हणजे तुम्हाला रेंज चांगली राहील आणि इथं डिस्टर्ब होत नाही प्लीज म्यूट युअर माईक अँड व्हिडिओ ऑल्सो अजून एक सूचना लक्षात ठेवा अजून एक सूचना आपली पाच दिवसाची सेरीज पूर्ण झाल्यानंतर शेवटच्या व्याख्यानाच्या शेवटी तुम्हाला फीडबॅक लिंक दिली जाणार आहे तो फीडबॅक फॉर्म तुम्ही भरून द्यायचा आहे त्या फीडबॅक फॉर्म मध्ये वक्त्यांच्या संदर्भात काही प्रश्न तुम्हाला विचारण्यात आलेले आहेत तर त्याचं पण उत्तर तुम्हाला खरं द्यायचं आहे त्यामुळं सगळी व्याख्यानं व्यवस्थित आहे का शेवटच्या दिवशी शेवटच्या आभाराच्या वेळी तुम्हाला फीडबॅक लिंक दिली जाईल ती फीडबॅक लिंक भरल्यानंतरच आम्ही तुम्हाला ईमेलद्वारे या सेलचं एक सर्टिफिकेट देणार आहोत आणि ते सर्टिफिकेट तुम्हाला तुमच्या ईमेलवर प्राप्त होईल त्यामुळे कोणीही फीडबॅक फॉर्म शेवटच्या दिवशी भरण्यास विसरू नये धन्यवाद त्यामुळे सर थँक्यू केलेदार सर मी आज खरंच स्वतःला धन्य मानतो कारण ज्याने आम्हाला एम एस एला शिकवलं माझे गुरु जवळ घ्या ज्याने आम्हाला एम एस एला शिकवलं माझे गुरु डॉक्टर यशेस पॉर सर यांचा परिचय करून देताना खरंच मला एक आनंद होतो कारण बऱ्याच वर्षानंतर मी सरांना ऑनलाईनच्या माध्यमातून काय सर बघतोय आणि खरंच सर तुमची तब्येत चांगली मला खरंच बरं वाटलं म्हणजे अजूनही हेल्दी आहात आणि डायनामिक पर्सनॅलिटी जे आपण म्हणतो ना ते तुमच्याकडे बघून आम्हाला जाणवतो तर थोडक्यात मी तुमचा परिचय करून देतो सरांचं शिक्षण हे जवळपास शिवाजी विद्यापीठामध्येच पूर्ण झालेलं आहे तर डॉक्टर ए व्ही नार्वेकर सरांच्या मार्गदर्शनाखाली एकोणीसशे चौऱ्याहत्तर साली सरांनी पीएच डी पूर्ण केलेली आहे आणि पीएच डी पूर्ण केल्यानंतर त्यांचं जे काय अकॅडमिक आणि रिसर्च जे करिअर केलं ते आपल्या फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंटमध्ये शिवाजी युनिव्हर्सिटीमध्ये त्यांनी केलेलं आहे आणि इथंच ते प्रोफेसर झाले आणि एकोणीसशे पंच्याण्णव साली ह्या फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंटचे हेड म्हणून त्यांनी कार्यभार स्वीकारला आणि त्यांच्या कार्यकर्त्या डिपार्टमेंटची खरंच भरपूर अशी प्रगती झालेली आहे त्याच्यामधलं एक मेन्शन करावं लागेल की सरांच्या काळातच त्यांनी स्कूल ऑफ इनर्जी सायन्स एक चालू केलं आणि त्याच्यामध्ये त्यांनी रिटायरमेंट होईस तोपर्यंत म्हणजे जवळपास दोन हजार सहा पर्यंत ते त्याचे को ऑर्डिनेटर राहिलेले आहेत आणि त्या एनर्जी स्कूल ऑफ एनर्जी सायन्स याच्यामधून सुद्धा बरेचसे विद्यार्थी पी एच डी म्हणून बाहेर पडलेले आहेत म्हणजे हा एक मोठं त्यांनी एक ब्रँच आपल्या डिपार्टमेंटमध्ये शिवाजी विद्यापीठ फिजिक्स विभागामध्ये चालू केली होती इथून रिटायरमेंट झाल्यानंतर सर डी वाय पाटील युनिव्हर्सिटीमध्ये व्हाईस चान्सलर म्हणून रुजू झाले आणि ते जवळपास दोन टर्म म्हणजे दोन हजार सोळा पर्यंत ते व्हाईस फेसी म्हणून डी वाय पाटीलमध्ये कार्यरत राहिलेले आहेत तिथून मग त्यांनी बऱ्याच ठिकाणी कामं केलेली आहेत आणि काम करताना त्यांनी बघा की जिथे जिथे जॉईन झाले त्या त्या ठिकाणी त्यांनी काय केले की नवीन ब्रँचेस चालू केले नवीन सेंटर्स चालू केलेले आहेत आणि ती सेंटर्स म्हणजे कुठली की एक जे सगळे विषय एकत्र आले पाहिजे सगळे फॅकल्टी मेंबर्स एकत्र आले पाहिजेत ह्या उद्देशानं त्यांनी मल्टी फॅकल्टी इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी रिसर्च सेंटरची स्थापना केली जिथे जिथे जॉईन झाले त्या ह्या सेंटरची स्थापना केलेली आहे आणि त्याचे फाउंडर डायरेक्टर म्हणून सुद्धा त्यांनी काम केलेलं आहे आणि त्यातले काही उल्लेख करावं लागेल की वारणानगर सोलापूर आणि आता बारामती वर इथं ते कार्य झालं तर सगळ्या सेंटर्सची स्थापना ही एस एच पॉवर सरांनी केलेली आहे मग अशी केलेदार सरांनी उल्लेख केला की सरांच्या मार्गदर्शनाखाली जवळपास पंच्याहत्तर विद्यार्थ्यांना पी एच डी करतोय आणि पंच्याहत्तर विद्यार्थ्यांना मार्गदर्शन करणे म्हणजे हे नॉ हे जोक नाही आहे की त्याच्यामध्ये एक तपस्या लागते सब्जेक्टची तपस्या लागते अभ्यासाची हे लागते आणि ती सरांच्याकडे बघितल्यानंतर आम्हाला खरंच भावते सरांच्या पब्लिकेशनच्या बाबतीत जर बोलायचं झालं तर जवळपास आठशे साडेआठशे पेपर्स 
रिसर्च पेपर्स त्यांनी पब्लिश केलेले आहेत की म्हणजे हाय रिप्युटेड जर्नल्स मध्ये पब्लिश केलेले आहेत त्याच पद्धतीने त्याबरोबर त्यांनी चाळीस रिव्ह्यू आर्टिकल्स किंवा चाळीस कदाचित चाळीस पेक्षा जास्ती असतील रिव्ह्यू आर्टिकल्स त्यांनी प्रसिद्ध केलेले आहेत जवळपास पंधरा पुस्तकांचं त्यांनी इरिटर म्हणून काम केलेलं आहे आणि सरांच्या नावावरती ही बारा पेटन आहेत आपल्याला बऱ्याच माहित आहे की सर बऱ्याचशा ठिकाणी बऱ्याचशा देशामध्ये म्हणजे व्हिजिटिंग प्रोफेसर म्हणून काम केलं पण मला एका विद्यापीठाचं तिथं उल्लेख करायला आवडेल आणि केम्ब्रिज युनिव्हर्सिटीमध्ये सुद्धा ते सर आणि व्हिजिटिंग प्रोफेसर म्हणून काम केलेलं आहे म्हणजे केम्ब्रिज विद्यापीठ आपण फक्त ऐकतो पण सर तिथं प्रत्यक्ष जाऊन ते काम केलं व्हिजिटिंग प्रोफेसर म्हणून काम केलं त्याच्यासारखे म्हणजे अभिमानास्पद आपल्या सर्वांच्यासाठी दुसरी कुठली असू शकत नाही आणि या सर्व गोष्टींचा सारासार विचार करून दोन मध्ये सी एस आय आर न्यू दिल्लीनं सरांना इमिरेट सायंटिस्ट या पदवीने काय केलं की गौरव गौरव केलेला आहे सरांचा म्हणजे पूर्ण अकॅडमिक ऍज वेल एज रिसर्चचा त्यांचा जो काही कॉन्ट्रीब्युशन आहे त्या सर्वांचं एक क्रेडिट म्हणून त्यांनी इमिरेट सायंटिस्ट म्हणून सरांचा गौरव केलेला आहे त्याचबरोबर सरांना बरेचसे अवॉर्ड सुद्धा मिळाले बेस्ट टीचर्स अवॉर्ड आहे परत डिस्टिंग बेस्ट प्रोफेसर म्हणून सुद्धा त्यांना गौरव गौरव करण्यात आलेला आहे आणि प्रोफेसर ऑफ इमिनन्स म्हणून सुद्धा सरांचा गौरव करण्यात आला आहे म्हणजे अशी आज डायनामिक पर्सनॅलिटी आज आपल्या बरोबर आहे खरंच आपण सरांचा सरांना ऐकतो हे आज आपलं भाग्याचं आपण समजलं पाहिजे आणि त्यांच्या नॉलेजचा फायदा आपण नक्कीच करून घेऊया आणि सर ज्या टॉपिकवरती आज बोलणार आहे डिनरची तर तो बी एस सी टी वाय बी एस सीला तो एक पेपर आहे आणि त्या मुलांना खरंच त्याचा फायदा आहे त्यामुळे सगळ्यांनी आपण सरांचा लेक्चर शांतपणे ऐकूया तर मी पवार सरांना डॉक्टर अशोक पवार सरांना विनंती करतो की सर तुम्ही तुमचं व्याख्यान चालू करावं धन्यवाद सर प्रदीप एकच मिनिट एकच मिनिट तर पंच्याहत्तर वर्ष सर पूर्ण करतायत तर या निमित्त सर्व उपस्थित असणारे माझे पार्टिसिपंट माझे सहकारी प्राध्यापक आमच्या महाविद्यालयातील सर्व शिक्षक यांच्या वतीनं दीर्घायुष्य चिंततो आणि शुभेच्छा देतो आणि सरांना विनंती करतो की त्यांनी आपलं व्याख्यान आता सुरू करा गुड आफ्टरनून टू युअर तुम्ही ऑडिबल ऑडिबल ऐकायला येते ना गुड आफ्टरनून टू युअर ऍट द आउटसेट लेट मी थँक द ऑर्गनायझिंग कमिटी ऑफ दिस फायव्ह डे फिजिक्स लेक्चर सिरीज ऑर्गनाइज बाय डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स राजेश छत्रपती शाहू कॉलेज कोल्हापूर आय एम ग्लॅड दॅट दिस ऍक्टिव्हिटी इज अंडर क्लस्टर ऍक्टिव्हिटी एकमेका सहाय्य करू अवघा धरू सुपंथ आणि चांगल्या करण्यासाठी हे सगळी जवळजवळ सात कॉलेजेस चे प्राध्यापक सात कॉलेजचे विद्यार्थी एकत्र येत आहेत ते खरंच एक चांगली ऍक्टिव्हिटी चालू केले आहे याच्यामध्ये राजश्री शाहू छत्रपती कॉलेज न्यू कॉलेज विवेकानंद कॉलेज भोगावती कॉलेज एन डी पाटील कॉलेज मलकापूर महावीर कॉलेज गोपालकृष्ण कॉलेज हे सर्व कॉलेज कॉलेजेसचे प्राध्यापक आणि विद्यार्थी यांचं मी प्रथमत ह्या विभिनाच्या लेक्चरसाठी मला यांच्याशी मिळा भेटण्याची संधी मिळाली त्याबद्दल मी संयोजकाचं आभार मानतो खरंच दिस इज अन इनोव्हेटिव्ह ऍक्टिव्हिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ इस काइंड ऑर्गनाइज अंडर द एबल लिडरशिप ऑफ प्रिन्सिपल डॉक्टर रिस्ती साळुंखे अँड हिस टीम स्पेसिफिकली लिडेड बाय प्रोफेसर व्ही व्ही किल्लेदार ॲज द प्रोग्राम कोऑर्डिनेटर आय टेक दिस अपॉर्च्युनिटी टू ॲप्रिसिएट and congratulate congratulate the whole team of the organizations friendly i have long association with this college because when this college was earlier it was a kirti college and then it is transformed taken over by the red section samstha and first principal of the this particular college was barrister pg patil and i am fortunate enough that i uh stayed with barrister pg patil principal in rajanpuri fourth lane in the bangalore which was hired by the sanstha and at that time i was a msc student perhaps if if you go to the library of your college you will find that there is a book of physics by by the rajam 
and which was purchased in the year 1967 even more science college your science faculty was started and i have i am very much grateful to this organization uh, for making me what am i today uh before going to what can this uh i can can, can you see the can you show the share the slide hello 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 can you see the slide uh, nahi nah, present now or click karun nahi kara present now okay. ek minute प्रेजेंट ना हो तो कुछ नहीं पकड़ा हाँ राइट लाइन पकड़ा खाली राइट लाइन अनिकेत सर पाल्टिक्स एरो ये राइट साइड ला पकड़ा एकदम उज्ज्वल बाजू ला प्रेजेंट ना क्लिक करा ते आता तुम्हाला तो तुमचं स्क्रीन दिसेल अच्छा फुल स्क्रीन करा फुल स्क्रीन ओके फ्रेंड्स uh in today's uh, lecture series uh i'm going to talk on energy conversion and conservations uh you know that the energy crisis was started in the year 1973 and at that that time the physics department of the shivaji university was the first in the country who started this msc program in energy science and in this particular program of the energy science we have done lot of work and you know that later on the similar kind of work was initiated at the dy patel university under the center for interdisciplinary research at the dy patel university with a thrust on nanotechnology you can see the picture here uh, when you are interested if you are interested you can visit my both the universities shivaji university as well as the dy patel university which are very well equipped for the research to be carried out at the energy con conservation and conversions specifically i am going to talk here the plan of uh, the energy conservation energy conversions the role of specifically uh, women in energy conversion and not only that but just now uh, professor kildar told that the, there is one full paper on the energy conversions for our bsc students so that this particular lecture will be quite useful for the students science students of these colleges and then in this particular lecture i have also added the solar cooking microwaves and then uh, different energy conversion systems that i am going to explain here uh, when you talk about the energy conservation the question comes why friends specifically when professor kildar has organized this particular topic or this particular series with the with an intention that our students though they are from the villages and rural sides they must be get employed it will be easy to get employment and for that purpose the specifically this particular course is going to create make an opportunity to get an employed and for that purpose uh, they have selected the this uh, organized this particular course in the colleges 
why the energy conservation if you look at the i mean this particular figure all india there is a power shortage the existing supply existing demand and there is a shortage and in order to meet the shortage of the energy because if there is a energy shortage then no nation can progress so you know that the yatra shakti tatra jivanam wherever there is a energy uh, there is a life and when there is a shortage of the energy it's but natural uh, there will be problem of the you will not be able to live comfortably so what are the possible solutions in order to meet the shortage and whenever the shortage in order to meet the shortage the country has to take the program uh, of the development and for that development certainly there is a young there is a need of young generation there is a need of the trained person, personnel wherever there is a i mean that particular type of business is there i'm glad that yesterday uh, your president uh, was talking about the sex sir was talking about industrial uh, uh, training for the students but when you talk about the industrial training where they should take the area so here wherever there is a possibility of getting employment so for that purpose the energy is the foremost important for not only for the india but it's required globally it means that if we train our students in the energy because in, and then energy is needed all over the world it means that the all over the world there are opportunities of the employment so if if we train our students in energy sector specifically then they have better opportunities of their employment and as i told you that there is a shortage between demand and supply so what are the possible solutions to meet the shortage you know that friends if there is a shortage of petrol how people they are uneasy oh there is a tomorrow perhaps i will not get the petrol or diesel and then there is a big queues they are there on the petrol pump so it is for that purpose it is very essential we must find immediately solutions so what are the possible solutions for that purpose in order to meet the difference between demand and supply so we have to create the awareness campaign training to the industry so it means that industry must come forward and start the energy production then energy summit so you have to arrange the such kind of programs energy norms you have to decide you have to arrange the demonstration projects then you have to in order to encourage the students you have to give the awards for those and then you have to encourage the young generation specifically towards the research on the energy in order to conserve the energy specifically uh, in 21st century uh, you know that the energy main source of energy is coal oil and gas is going to be uh, i'm depleted soon and for that purpose whatever energy resources they are there we have to conserve and for that purpose uh, government of india they have made a energy conservation act and if somebody violates this thing so there will be a crime so for example uh, energy act 2001 employers the union government and in some instances the state government to notify the energy intensive industries prescribe energy consumption norms direct designation consumers to appoint certified energy managers state government to amend the energy conservation it means that all these areas there is if the students that trained uh, in these areas then they have the opportunities similarly the direct owners of commercial building to comply uh, direct mandatory display of the labels of the uh, for e- equipment so how that equipment or the efficiency of the equipment so there must be the characterization of this thing specify energy consumption standards for notified equipments and appliances prohibit manufacture sell purchase and import of notified requirement and appliances for this thing so energy conservation act 2001 and the provision of this act the bureau of energy efficiency b was established with the effect from 1 to 3 2002 and the mission of the b is to utilize the energy efficiency services 
promote energy efficiency delivery machineries and provide leadership for improvement of the energy efficiency in all sectors of the economy friends with this energy conversion act 2001 there is a need of the energy auditor and for that purpose there is a need of energy auditors in terms of thousands of energy auditors over the country and if our students from the shivaji university students from the colleges if they are trained in the energy conversion act or energy conversion audit for that purpose there is a government examination i just i refer b and that the, so if the student they appear that examination they can get the uh, 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 right to audit any of the institution so there is a great opportunity for the, the employment for the students who are trained in the energy so what are the potential sector of the in, industry okay, where are the energy audits there is a industrial audit transport agriculture domestic and commercial and economic whole it means that you will find that there is a need of the trained personnel in energy so there are different opportunities where they can get the employment now when you talk about the energy conservation and then every society wanted to get uh, developed so they need and that development pattern depends on the energy consumption so here i'm giving this picture how the society has developed from its primitive man to the modern industrial society and in this picture you can say that the primitive ma- man this was the st- early stage and then later on at the end you will find that industrialization so here you can see the number so this number is energy consumption per head so for the developed countries you can see that the maximum there must be the maximum amount of energy that is to be needed for the meet the nation so depending on the energy consumption pattern the countries all over the world they are classified or into developed developing countries and under developed countries so here you can see that on the left hand side is human development index and on the other side the you can see the annual, annual per capita electricity use that is there you can see that canada you are the science students so you can see the picture uh, analyze the here yeah, this data so canada us australia netherlands italy spain and all these things so they are consuming a lot of energy it means that a lot of energy is available it means that a lot of comforts is available there so all these countries they are developed countries if you look at the india where is the india somewhere here it is india is here and that our country and this some may be the iraq egypt and pakistan so they are developing countries and below that they are under developed country so our students in india from they belong to the developing country it means that less comforts less facilities they wanted to go to the developed countries and for that purpose our politicians our country wanted to transform our country from developing country to the developed countries so in order to make our india a developed country then perhaps there will not be the brain drain whosoever that talent tal- whosoever is talent is available there so they will they will be created in the country and they will be shown here only hello hello then what are the uh, Uh, so when we wanted to make our product uh, employable product then you can see that what are the top 10 i'm just guessing one but what are the top 10 problems for next 50 years it mean that all over the world energy is the topmost priority water resources food environment poverty terrorism and war this is at present you know the healthcare the lot of employment is, is uh, 
brain manpower is needed in the healthcare, education, democracy. So these are top 10 problems for the next 50 years. And if you train our students in the top 10 problems, if you make your curriculum in this area and train our students, then they will get the, I mean, opportunities. So I'm just considering here, the first topmost priority is related to the energy. And in case of the energy, because main source of energy is the sun. And when you get the main source of the energy is the sun, then you can find that the the sun, but is the main source of energy and making use of the other source of energy, they are going, they are creating the problem of the greenhouse effect. And in order to avoid the greenhouse effect, you can see how the emitted gases by consuming the petrol, coal and diesel. So they are increasing, they are creating the pollution and due to the pollution, there is a uh, increase in the uh, pollution and so this is uh, this thing so how to i mean avoid get the solution for that so we have to look for rather than the burning coal oil and gas we have to go for the energy from the sun now here you can see that the sun is the main source of the energy and here is the earth and that energy from the sun uh, earth is rotating and you know that earth is rotating and you can get the day and night. So in order to get the energy from the sun, you have to think over. So before starting the new devices, let me just, just for the student. So the energy is nothing but anything that makes it possible to the work. And so when one does the work, there is a change in energy. What is the what was the initial energy in the system? And then we do the work, then there is a loss of energy. And that loss of energy can be measured by the, in the work of work done. Similarly, there are other forms, there are 10 different forms of the energy: the potential energy, kinetic energy, electrical energy, magnetic energy, radiative energy, nuclear energy, sound energy, mass energy. So mass energy, you know that. E is equal to mc square, Einstein's relation. Light energy may be in the form of E is equal to h nu. This kinetic energy, total energy, law of conservation of energy, and then electromagnetic radiation. One can prove that the law of conservation of energy, uh, it means that if you look at the whole world, then energy can neither be generated nor destroyed. Total energy of the universe is a constant quantity. Only thing that there is a change transformation of energy from one form of energy to the other form of energy. If you look at the total energy flow diagram, as I told you that the sun is the main source of energy and then uh, this sun emits the radiation. So here you can see that the direct radiations that are coming here and here is the earth and then how the there's a, some part of the radiation energy is reflected back so maybe directly conversion to the heat. And so this is the thing. And then if you look at the total energy balance, total amount of energy coming to the earth and then later on making energy use, so it is going out. So there must be low conservation. Amount of energy coming inside, the amount of energy coming out, going outside must be the same. Then, then and then only the law of conservation of energy. Now let us look at the energy resources. As I told you that the energy resources earlier may be coal, oil and gas and these resources, they were generated and pretty long time. We are using these energy resources. That's why it is called as a conventional source of energy. But this conventional source of energy, uh, that is, uh, you can see that these are the, these are the figures they're estimated. Uh, so proven energy resources from photosynthesis and consumption. And similarly, there is shortage of energy because these sources were generated once for once, just once, at, once, once, once at a time. But they are going to be depleted soon. That's why there's an alternative source of energy. Uh, they are called a non-conventional because they were not used earlier. But now there's a need. 
solar energy, nuclear energy, wind energy, ocean energy, geothermal energy, biomass energy that needed to be this. So these are some of the calculations that I showed here, fossil fuel reservations and resources. Uh, I have submitted all the PowerPoint presentation to Tilda uh, sir. Maybe those who are interested, you can get these slides you know, uh, and all the details to you later on. Uh, since the sun is main source of energy, and then I, as I showed, showed you earlier, that is due to the rotation of the earth, in the daytime, the sun is available, but nighttime, there is no sun. So the question comes, uh, as a scientist mind, that is, in order to avoid this problem, is it possible to create the sun on the earth so that you can get your own resources? So rather than depending on the natural source of energy, sun as a natural source of energy, can we not have the sun? So it is for that purpose, you must know what is the sun, what it consists of. You know that uh, the sun mainly consists of the 79%, uh, I mean, this 18 percent hydrogen and rest of the things, helium and other, other elements. So for that purpose, if you want to create the sun on the earth for this young generation, enthusiastic mind, so you must know what is the theoretical model of the sun. You can see that uh, this will be at the, at the core, there's a very high temperature. And so sun mainly consists of hydrogen and then 19% helium. And then that hydrogen consumption. So you, can, you, you, you will find that if you take the cross section of the sun, you'll find that the different regions of the sun. So when you make use of the sun as the source of energy, specifically for India, so you know that the energy radiation uh, that can be measured by using uh, this particular sunshine recorder. Uh, that is, and then you know that. Total amount of energy per day received on the uh, um, earth or that particular place can be measured with sunshine recorder. Perhaps in your uh, I mean theory paper, you must have learned about the sunshine recorder. So whatever amount of sun available at different region of the our country, so these are the counters, and there are uh, different energies available at different places. Similarly, the total energy. In a day, you know that uh, early in the morning, sun, there's no energy, but as sun goes up, you can get the energy. So there is a sunshine record that the solar energy uh, con measurements, and one can get the, that energy in the form of the kilowatt total amount of energy per, per meter square per second is available there. Now, once you know uh, what is the amount of energy available, throughout the year at different places. Then let us try to understand how that energy in the form of radiation is converted into the electrical energy. So because whatever amount of energy available from the sun is the power of radiations. But then how these radiations can be converted into electric energy. Now since you are the science student, you know that the photovoltaic effect. So this is the a typical example, the a semiconductor and semi, how the semiconductor used to convert the solar energy into electrical energy. And that is with the help of the photovoltaic effect. It consists of N, the N semiconductor, P semiconductor. When they make a junction, so at the junction, you know that the concept of the Fermi energy level and then Fermi gel level for the N-type semiconductor, Fermi gel level for P-type semiconductor. When these two semiconductors they brought into contact, they develop the okay potential, contact potential, and that contact potential helps to separate because when the light is incident, so it creates an electronic hole, and then electron is negative, hole is a positive. As soon as they create it, uh, in this region, okay. Be, being positive and negative charge, they combine and annihilate. But when the electron hole generated within this junction area, so this is called a junction width. So then and then only there is a the separation of electron and hole, and you can get the electrical energy. So this is the circuit diagram for those things. So this is the typical three-dimensional picture. There's a, uh, how to make the solar cells. So these are made from 
the crystalline solar cells uh, from the making use of p-type semiconductor, n-type semiconductor, and now one single solar cell which generates the voltage, maximum voltage, maybe 0.5 volts to 0.7 volts. So no, nobody will be able to run the equipment, existing equipment. So for that purpose, we have to formulate the solar panel, solar photovoltaic design. And so many, some of the so cells, they must be connected into the series and parallel. And then you must design your own solar power station. Friends, if you are trained in designing and fabrication of solar panel, it is a big business that available for the trained students. And whatever energy generated, so maybe uh, it is used in the night time, because daytime you can convert the solar energy into electrical energy, store, and then you can use it in the night time. So here you can see specifically the villages or the places where the light is not available, uh, electricity is not av available. So such kind of dentists, they are there. So then you can see that I think there's some problem. Okay, uh, then instead of using for the these things, similarly, the solar energy can also be used for watering. Uh, so here you can see that the solar fabric and solar panels, and then uh, solar photovoltaic water pumping devices. I'm glad that under the School of Energy Studies, maybe in the 1980-84, when we installed uh, such kind of solar watering system uh, on the campus of the Shivaji University. So similarly, uh, specifically the power station, in order to make the making use of the solar PV panels, we can produce the electrical energy by converting the solar energy into electrical energy. Specifically, when the so you are in the ocean and deep into the ocean, then where is the electrical energy? They will be available. So that power can be generated by making use of the photovoltaic panel. Similarly, when uh, for the space vehicles or in the here we are in the sky, so that energy can also be generated. This thing, apart from the conversion of solar energy to electrical electrical energy, the one form of energy where we need for our daily life. Similarly, the another form of the energy that we need. Our day-to-day -day need is a cooking system. And for that purpose, the solar energy can also be used to create the heat and cook our food. It means that rather than using the burning the coal, oil and gas, or burning the wood, you can make cook your food by making use of the solar cooker. Here it is. You find that. Solar cooking. And now here I consider, so what are the types of solar cooking? Need for solar cooking. And so what is the cooking principle? Classic, classic solar cookers. Commonly use the solar cookers. And then you can see that. So what are the types of cooking? So conventional cooking methods, it means that we generally use coal, oil, and the gas, maybe your uh, gas cylinders. Then another method is electric heating methods. But these devices, they have less efficiencies. This is costly. Another most efficient devices for the 21st century with a very high efficiency, making use of the microwave heating methods, inductive heating methods, solar cooking methods, and nanotech assisted solar cooking. So the new types of cooking are being, will, will be employed in the future, specifically for energy consumption pattern. So conventional cooking, so conventional energy resources, that is solid, coal, wood, agriculture, waste, liquid, kerosene, petrol, diesel, gas, natural gas, and LPG. Now, if you look at the history, the 19th century, it was a solid fuel, dominated. 20th century, liquid fuel, and now we are in the 21st century, the gases fuel, or solar energy, electromagnetic radiations, 
So this is the pattern of the cooking and cooking fuels that will be needed. So when you talk about the highest efficiency, one can get it for the specifically conversion of the energy or device cooking to so microwaves. Uh, it is microwave cooking is one of the very important methods because microwaves are the form of say, rather than using solar energy. So microwaves are the form of electromagnetic energy and its frequency range is equal to this day, and this has a very high efficiency. Uh, so rather than conventional cooking or solar cooking, so microwave cooking is in 21st century, perhaps uh, it will be used. Microwaves are used extensively in communications. At present, we know that we are using uh, your mobile and everything. So this mobile is based on the, the microwaves. But the same microwaves can also be used for the cooking purposes and these things. So this is the uh, electronic spectrum you can see. And here you can see that in the range between frequency range or maybe wavelength range. So you can see the visible uh, radiations maybe here in the wave number and in this region you will find that the microwaves are available. So what is the history of the microwaves which are highest deficiency? Specifically in the year 1945, Percy Spencer was working on the return to develop magnetrons and at that time he then tested a popcorn that he was uh, in the front of that magnetron and then he found that oh there was the automatically cooking in 1947 he developed that particular device at the micro so here is professor spencer we got the Nobel prize and the micro design which has the highest efficiency if you look at the efficiency of our chulla it is merely two percent three percent if you look at for the gas cooking, maybe it is 10% to 10%. When you look up this uh, micro cooking, its efficiency is 70%, 80% efficiency there. So how does the microwave oven cook? So here, because I'm explaining this, I've taken this particular topic because we have to conserve the energy. So whatever energy is available, you can make, convert with a high efficiency and save the energy. So there's a conservation. And that is possible with the help of micro oven cooking. And so you see here it is uh, the electromagnetic relations, how the electromagnetic is cooked here. So here the physics people uh, or water molecule, how that water molecule, whatever water, mo water molecule or moisture is available in your grain. So that is being heated with the things. So here what happens in the, when you put in the microwave is the electric field. So when you put the, apply the microwave here, positive energy, negative energy, the water molecule is oriented in this direction because water molecule is a dipolar molecule. Here positive side attracted to this side electron. So there is an orientation of this. When you change this negative to positive, then it is, so you can see that here the H I O2 and then in this direction, if you change the direction, you see the water molecule direction is changed. And that's in frequency range, there's a changing of the under the electromagnetic wave, you know that uh, this is the pattern of the electromagnetic wave. And under this, the water molecules, they are oscillating like that. And that gives us the frictional loss. And then that gives the Okay, heating effect, how the water molecule, they are heated with the help of microwave. And then you will find that uh, the standing wave is formed in the microwave and you can get that. Uh, this is the picture inside the microwave one. The electromagnetic waves also form standing waves from reflections at the walls of the this device. And without it, uh, and that's why there is a like microwave, this turntable is there. And so in order to cook your food better, so this turntable is available. This So similar type of uh, cooking now later on, another type of cooking, conversion of the energy, electromagnetic energy. Up till now we have talked about electromagnetic energy. But what is electromagnetic energy available in the form of the sun? Because sun it has, is a source of uh, radiations and these radiations are electromagnetic waves. So how the sun is converted into by using the concentrators, so this is it. So making use of the, because uh, the ordinary solar cooker or the box type solar cooker, it takes three to four hours to cook your food. But if you want to cook your food 
faster. So then you have to use the concentrator. So this is the picture of the concentrator to convert the solar energy, and then you can cook the food as fast as possible. Similarly, the, not, there is a lot of amount of energy is being spent in the industries. And for the industries, you know that the we need a very high temperature uh, to melt the metals and all the things. Similarly, the, there is another way of uh, solar furnace by using the reflectors. The other day when Sekhar was talking about how the our students they can enter into here every slide slide I and which I am showing every slide it is a place for the in, small scale industry. If the students get trained in any of one of the this technique, then oh there is a lot of market there is a lot of business one can do it specifically in the energy sector area. This is one of the pictures one of the stream cycle power. So in the power generation specifically so thermal power station where the coal is burned and uh, there is a lot of pollution at the same time you are consuming a lot of coal and that is not available so whatever amount of thermal energy required so rather than burning the coal here the solar energy concentrators and solar thermal power station that in every village if the students are coming from the villages, maybe let there be a group of 10 students or 50 students, let them combine together, come together after the graduate degree and let them design solar thermal power station for every village. And so that you can meet the new, make use of the solar energy and then you can make your own solar thermal power station per village. So it means that decentralization of the energy generation pattern. And there is a lot of need specifically for young trained manpower, motivated, trained into such kind of devices. Similarly, kind of the cooking, I told you the cooking. The cooking is available, maybe the solar cooker. Solar cooker. There can be a central solar cooking system in a village. It means that in, 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 a, in a village, everybody need not have the solar cooker, but let there be a central place in Gram Panchayat. So let there be near the Chaudi. There let be some small place where Suppose that village has the four five hundred houses. So let there be five hundred cookers or maybe the community kitchen where you can cook their food at, at the solar cooking and there's a great business. And people they have need not worry, specifically the women need not worry about the cooking pattern. You will get the ready-made cooking pattern. Food industries can develop you can use of the solar cooker. The, there is another form of the energy, solar energy being used up, that is the solar hot water system. Uh, you know that earlier uh, there is a so, so consumption of either burning coal, when, even still today in villages, the, the hot water for the bath, they are being heated by burning the coal, burning the, just, I mean, the woods and all that. But other than that, one can make it the solar, solar, I mean, solar hot water system and then install the hot water system. Now, for every, I mean, in the city or for every house or in every, I mean, the, that particular building, if we install the solar cooking system, so it means that one can make the solar energy, hot water system, at most of the places now it has made it popular. A few years before the system was not available. From now, Energy Act 2021, government has made it mandatory for every householder or every constructor, the house constructor, that there must be the solar heating system installed. In. So that solar system, so it means that due to the energy, otherwise no building is allowed to construct by that particular 2001. So nowadays, the new buildings coming here with such kind of thing. But suppose still there are some people, they are not installed a such kind of thing, they're using their traditional, the electric heating cooker. So here, at the, and since day by day, the electricity bill is increasing. So here the consumer who has got his bill and every month he has to pay and oh, it is increasing. So he is very much worried and astonished.
But on the contrary, the houses or households have installed the, this secondary system, they're enjoying, oh, no question of uh, bill or send because the sun does not send the bill to the user earlier. So these are the another areas of the generation of the solar engine. Now there is, as I told you that, the conversion of the maybe solar energy to electrical energy, but there are another types of devices which are called as a uh, advances in materials for solid oxide fuel system. When I was in the Shivaji University, that we have a big program, big research project sanctioned specifically photoelectrochemical conversion. Uh, in, col in collaboration with the physics department, chemistry department, or specifically, here you can see that in a three electro system, uh, you know that uh, on one side, because hydrogen and on the other side, oxygen, and when the hydrogen and oxygen they brought together, you can get the electrical energy. So it means that the burning hydrogen and oxygen, you can get the electric. And where is the hydrogen and oxygen? So in the water. And what is, so just by, just like the when you decomp the water, it goes the hydrogen and oxygen. But at the same time, we can use decomp the water, get the hydrogen and oxygen, and the same hydrogen and oxygen can be utilized for generation of the electricity, specifically the oxy oxide fuel cell. So a lot of work was done in the Shivaji University when I was there that is working on the pure solid oxide fuel cells. And this is the principle that I have shown it here. So this is the system. So there are, it is a lot many advantages. They are there in the solid oxide fuel cell. Uh, there are very advantages. It is a direct energy conversion, no moving parts of the energy converter, quite uh, demonstrated high availability of lower temperature units. Citing, well, there's no question of citing reality. It's a lot many advantages they are there. That's why we have undertaken uh, big programs of uh, maybe out of my 52 students from Shivaji University, maybe more than 10 students, they worked on these particular devices. And we have tried to develop these solid cell fuel cells in the Shivaji University of PG Department and School of Energy Science. So what are the... So but, while developing the new materials, still there is a problem of the developing new materials for this thing. So this is the fuel cell efficiency, is the highest fuel cell efficiency. Uh, you can see that uh, this is the mechanism that we can get it. And advanced solid oxide fuel cells, okay, just I told you about this thing. And then SOC cell components, as I told you, the anode, cathode, and electrolyte. Uh, so our students, the physics students, materialized students, they have to work on the development of new materials, very specific material related to anode, new materials with cathode, electrolyte. So a lot of programs, a lot of new manpower, internal manpower is needed for the development of the this solid cell fuel cell. It means that hydrogen and oxygen. And hydrogen and oxygen can be obtained from the water. So three-fourth part of the earth is occupied by the water. So no problem of raw material. Sun is there. So making of the sun, decomposing the water into hydrogen and oxygen, so one can create the electricity. Make only thing that the students must be trained into the such kind of devices. Similarly, uh, we have one, one program that is running the solid cell fuel cells on the biogas. Let's speak in the villages. The biogas consists of CO2, CH, hydrogen, and making use of those things. But for that purpose, one has to develop the new kind of geometry for solar cell fuel cells. And we had a project in the Shivaji University and PG Department School of Industry on the development of it. And so some of this is the research work uh, that is, we have published papers, we have published specifically development of the new materials. Material science, when you talk about the material science, friends, I'm very proud that the Shivaji University PG department was the first in the country who started MSc material science in PG department in the country first time. Because in 1967, I was working for my PhD degree. Dr. Nalikar was head of the PG department at that time. Dr. Nalikar, Nalikar spent most of his time in Cambridge. And after Cambridge, he came directly in the Shivaji University. And in 1970, 
we started msc in material science trained our students and that is the first in the country msc program our university is very proud and that are these are the advantages uh, we are for our students so develop a new material how the new materials so here this one paper the studies on electric and dielectric properties of uh, porous this material required for in the sorry so similar another paper publications so like that there are different papers and what is the advantage the advantage of this solid cell fuel cells or sfc cell in transportation it means that one need not have to use the petrol or diesel in, so these are the pictures the, the, on the demonstration level so this sfc are run not on the petrol and diesel but these devices are used on sfc and in sfc it is operated by making use of the water first water being coupled with the hydrogen oxygen and that hydrogen oxygen is used for this thing it means that you can fix the device uh, here and then run the car it means that rather than using the petrol diesel add the water to the this petrol system and run the car, your car or devices on the water so these are the devices this thing so these are some of the space applications thing. then another for rather than the solar energy microwave energy or the thing so here is a another energy biomass energy conversion friends most of the students they are from the villages and we are very we are the uh, children from the villages so there is a lot of biomass you know the biomass he is talking about it so it means that rather than using sun far which is far off rather than having very costly technology very complicated technology so here is the another source of energy where we can our village our village students they can take the project so specifically i can say that tuza he tuza pasi parit jaga chukalashi mitra ho apan sagli khedatli vidyarthi aat khede made biomass in apan plantation apan bagto apan farmers apan ahot to tacha upyog karu so solar energy is converted so it means that plant is a very good instrument in the nature which converts solar energy into the mass energy and that mass energy from the einstein equation e is equal to mc square tumhala if tumhala jar energy milvaycha asel tar mass ani let that be biomass so from the biomass you can get the lot of energy from this so this is another area that is so from biomass energy so we have very good program in the shivaji university of the school of industry of the biomass energy conservation i'm glad that our department was school of industry was recognized as one of the biomass research center for south western region in the country in the country there are only four research center center selected so our so our center was selected for goa maharashtra and gujarat to develop that such kind of bio energy resources so similarly bio diesel so just the tropa and all the thing friends you if you are trained in in the energy maybe physics student maybe biology student but come student coming from biology maybe the then comes to physics to chemistry they can think of the biodiesel so when we have the uh, small scale industry on the biodiesel only thing that there is a need the professor must train their student in such a fashion that they can start the small entrepreneurial program on the biomass diesel from satrapa we can form the this chemical biofuel bioethanol biodiesel these are the areas where our students can then get and train and start their small scale industries this similarly the biogas so you know the biogas is available uh, every, every in the village lot of waste material is there and uh, here but then a uh, question comes sometimes the biogas plants they are not operative uh, working gas is not burnable so in order to burn uh, we have taken the program of develop new materials specifically with which the co2 maximum amount of co2 present into the gas which is affect on the burning so that co2 can be converted into c co and o2 so this is another very interesting area for our student i'm glad that the student from seven different colleges and most of these colleges are from the villages there is a new concept is the methane farming now you can see that uh, recently there was a election of the gokul and gokul is nothing but the milk dairy and that milk that is from the cows and all the thing now when every farmer especially in the area of in the village area 
they are having the cows and they are making the business of the milk so along with the milk business milk dairy business you have we have the cows so i they are how the cows so let us try to analyze cows are forever they are available with us pratyek gharacha gharamadhe as janavar ahet mashi ahet jana gai ahet mag cows are forever ata apan jar acha calculation kelo one cow produces methane gas equivalent to 225 liter of the petrol per year हे प्रयोगाने सिद्ध केले म्हणजे तुमच्याकडे एक गाई असेल तर दोनशे पंचवीस लिटर ऑफ पेट्रोल पर इयर मिळत याचा अर्थ दोनशे पंचवीस लिटर समज तुम्ही दहा गाई जर केल्या तर दोनशे बावीस ते पन्नास लिटर झाले बावीस ते पन्नास लिटरला जर तुम्ही शंभर आता शंभर लिटर घेतलं तर दोन लाख म्हणजे इतकं एका तुम्ही बिझनेस करू शकता तसं जर त्याला अजून साधा त्याला अधिकोच्या भाषेमध्ये त्याला मिथेन फार्मिंग असा हा शब्द गोड शब्द वापरलाय आणि भविष्यात कदाचित पेट्रोल पंपाच्या ऐवजी हे मिथेन फार्मिंग असतील म्हणजे पेट्रोल पंपाच्या पाठीमाग डिझेल पंपच्या पाठीमाग त्या गाईचा जो गोठा असेल आणि त्याच्या पुढे तो एनर्जी पेट्रोल पंप मिथेन फार्मिंगचा असेल आणि त्याच्यावरती हे वाहन चालत त्याबरोबर आपण बघायचं तुम्हाला सांगितलं हायड्रोजन एनर्जी सो हाऊ टू जनरेट द हायड्रोजन एनर्जी so this is one on another program hydrogen vision 2020 i'm glad that when dr apj kalam become the president of our country so when he in his first lecture to the assembly he gave he told all the persons sagla khazan ne sangitle ki 2020 sali apna bharat ha sagla jagat la shesh sala peje ani tyasathi hydrogen vision he has given the hydrogen vision and the thing सो देन जसं बायोमास झालं सोलार एनर्जी झालं मायक्रोवेव्ह झालं तसं अनेक बायो जसं म्हटलं तुझं आहे तुझं पाशी वारा तर हा आपल्याकडे सदस्य असतो तर तो वाऱ्यापासून विंड एनर्जी इज अनादर फॉर्म ऑफ द एनर्जी मित्र हो आपल्या ते प्रत्येक जण हा छोट स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज मध्ये म्हणजे प्रत्येक घराला लागणारी एनर्जी ऊर्जा ही आपण विंड मध्ये करू शकतो सो दिस इज द प्रिन्सिपल ऑफ द विंड एनर्जी विंड फार्म्स ऑलरेडी देअर सुदैवानं आपल्या देशामध्ये इन अवर कंट्री वी हॅव लॉट ऑफ विंड जनरेट स्पेसिफिकली इन अवर कंट्री इंडिया फ्रॉम थ्री साईड देर इज अ ओशन अँड मॅक्झिमम एनर्जी ऑफ द एनर्जी विंड एनर्जी इज अव्हेलेबल ऍट द बॉर्डर ऑफ द ओशन ऍट द बॉर्डर ऑफ द कंट्री अँड सो देर इज अ प्लेंट्री ऑफ पोटेन्शियल इज अव्हेलेबल दिस सो मायक्रो विंड फार्म्स म्हणजे आपल्या विद्यार्थ्यांना आपण जर असं तयार केलं की मायक्रोवेव्ह फार्म जर ट्रेन केलं तर घरोघरी म्हणजे आपल्याला हे लागणारी ऊर्जा त्याचप्रमाणे व्हेरी सॉफिक्ट फॉर ऑफ एनर्जी कदाचित फिजिक्सच्या विद्यार्थ्यांना हे माहिती आहे हा विषय तुम्ही तुमच्या सायन्समध्ये फिजिक्स शिकत असत सुपर कंडक्टर्स फॉर अवर एनर्जी फ्युचर मित्र मला सांगायला अभिमान वाटतो की शिवाजी विद्यापीठामध्ये आम्ही सुपर कंडक्टरवरती एकोणीसशे अठ्ठ्याऐंशी साली जेव्हा नोबल पारितोषिक म्हणजे नोबल पारितोषिक हे फक्त आणि फक्त सिनियर लोकांना मिळतं असं नव्हे तर नोबल प्राईज हे प्राध्यापक आणि विद्यार्थी याला पण मिळू शकतं एकोणीसशे शहाऐंशी साली असाच प्रयोग पहिल्यांदा झाला आणि सुपर कंडक्टर्स फॉर अवर एनर्जी आणि त्याचं कारण असं की सुपर कंडक्टर्स एनर्जीमध्ये खूप मोठं ऍप्लिकेशन त्याचे आहेत आणि आम्ही सुपर कंडक्टरचा भारतातल्या जे पाच सहा युनिव्हर्सिटी जे सिलेक्ट केल्या होत्या त्यातल्या शिवाजी युनिव्हर्सिटीचं पी जी डिपार्टमेंट आम्ही सुपर कंडक्टर्स हाय टी सी सुपर कंडक्टर्स साठी आम्हाला फुल मोठ फुल मोठी ग्रांट्स मिळाली होती आणि त्याच्यामध्ये आपण सुपर कंडक्टर्स फॉर एव्हर सो बट हाऊ द सुपर कंडक्टर्स दॅट यूज इन जनरेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी दिस आर सम ऑफ द पिक्चर अँड फॉर दॅट पर्सन इंटिग्रल अप्रोच टू पॉवर जनरेशन इट मीन दॅट वी हॅव टू डेव्हलप द दिस डिव्हायसेस विथ द हेल्प ऑफ जनरेशन transmission storage and use of the so in every sector one can make use of the superconductors for this with a very very high efficient devices and for superconductors you know that there is no conjunction zero resistance zero resistance means there is no consumption of the electricity so without any electricity one can generate this. so what are the type of gen- superconductors that is because we had a project on this that's a power generator electric power generation by a magnetic and a superconducting coil turbine these are devices they are there 
application of superconductors, these are different application of superconductors. Energy storage times. So how to then store the energy? So these are the superconducting magnetic energy storage. They are there. Emission power generation, making super very high efficient generation. These are can be possible with this. I'm glad that some of our students who are working on the, this area, so they have got very good opportunity. Out of the 75 students who worked with me under the, I mean, Divan Patil University as well as Shivaji University, 52 students from Shivaji University. Some of our students, they work, got their PhD in superconductivity, high tech superconductivity. And I'm glad that the students who completed their PhD in high tech superconductivity, they are very well placed. I give the example that you know that the Oxford University, Cambridge University, and I'm glad that one of my students who got his MSc physics degree from Shivaji University when I was there as a teacher, and the same student joined the DY Patel University. He got his completed degree, and now he has is a faculty member in the topmost university in the world, like Oxford. It means that what are the upper? It is not necessary, and then he is working at present. Now we are talking about the COVID nineteen and the thing. So he is working in the center of biomedical research center at the Oxford University, and then he has the. It means that our physics student, not necessarily they multi faculty intensive. He completed the MSc in physics, Shivaji University. Joined the Dewey Patel University under my guidance, worked on the nanobiotechnology, worked on the, I mean, and then he become, uh, we have developed the, I, I, due to short of time, I will not be able to develop the research work that we have done at the Dewey Patel University. 25 students found Dewey University, 52 students found the Shivaji University. This is the highest record of the individual supervision in both the university. And all these 75 students, they are very well placed. They are doing very good work. As Kiladar has told that, I assure you that last a day yesterday only, uh, there's a one TV channel has taken the interview. Is a, what is the contribution of mine when I'm completing 75 years and with the 75 PhD students? So that TV broadcast, uh, you'll be able to listen that there's a 40 minutes, my interview was there on the TV channel. And that TV channel, even the how how this 25, 25 students they have done a lot of work. So this is the high DC superconductors and the, the another area uh, of the nuclear and nuclear power. So friends, you know that the nuclear power, the Jaitapur power station, because when I become the vice chancellor of Dewey Patel University, I, I there were three major projects on the nuclear power plant related to the Jaitapur power station. So this is the typical skeleton of the, how the nuclear power is generated this thing. Now, when that Jaitapur power, biggest nuclear power station in the country was initially installed, maybe that was process was going on in the year when I was the vice chancellor at the 2007 to 2016. During that early period in 2008, the, uh, our country started take up the program on the Jaitapur power station. At that time, uh, there are there were some people against made it, I mean, on the that particular power station because given a lot of reason. So at the Madban beach, so under that particular project, uh, before constructing that and to so, face the, I mean, agitations against the that particular power station, I was interested, I was visited at Madban beach and the main thing was that, oh, there will be deforestation, there will be you know, removal of the people, but actually, when I visited, so that project was taken. Uh, I myself, Professor Ishesh Pawar from Diwapati University and principal collaborator M P Chabgaukar from B R C Mumbai. So this is a big program was taken. And at that time, due to the big, uh, to avoid the to calm down the irrigation, because the B R C people they were trying to defend the people. Oh, this no, it is not harmful. It is good, but people they were not believing. And then that's why then the URC people that told me that Professor Kawar is not from the because they were clear, they were telling that oh, you are the government, I mean employ the government, that's why you are defending the government. So we, we don't believe on you. Then the URC took the decision that late Professor Power, who is not belong to the government service, was a vice chancellor of the DY Patel University, it has nothing to do with the government. So 
let it begin. So that, that at that time, the DNA, it was taken the my interview, and that is it is safe to go ahead with the Jaitapur nuclear power station. So those, no, it is a big history, very interesting things there. There, when we have the time, maybe we will have very good discussions on this issue. Similarly, the energy nanotech grand challenge. Friends, when anyway, I'm pleading for the energy, energy devices. And then perhaps some of you may ask the question, sir, with all these things, where is the problem that they are not commercialized? They are not into the market. For that purpose, the main thing is that the costly device is not that much efficiency. But in the coming future, the energy nanotech grand challenges. So in the recent years, we took up the program or to handle in the energy based on the nanotechnology. I'm glad that the Center for Interesting Research at Bihar Patrick University, which I developed, just like I developed the Center for School of Energy Studies, first time to give the MSc degree of the Shivaji University in the country. In the similar fashion, I established the Center for Interesting Research in Bihar Patrick University, specifically doing a lot of work based on the energy technology. Those who are interested, maybe in the this area, they can visit the uh, uh, Divine Patrick University Center, Interesting Research Center, and then do very good work. My our student, our group is doing very good work. Run for the sun on the wheels of the nanotechnology, energy and nanotech grand challenges. It is one of the areas where the, our young generation they have a lot of opportunities. They are there, and so for that purpose, then uh, specifically, uh, Dr. Anil Kakorkar, you might be knowing that. He was the chairman of Atomic Energy, director of the BRC, and then uh, Anil Kapoorkar and I myself, okay, I have written a, this particular article that how to make this energy, specifically Urja Shaswati, if you want to, I mean, okay, uh, make your country a progressive country, and it's very essential, your country must be energy self-sufficient. Mitro Matsakai was a satisfactor getler. Upon Jode Peshe, Putra Dizel Anamartu, Pratek Varshi the Wadas Data, and has the Grand Pesa Perpetuation. And it is upon calculation killer, third version of Shapan Jola Petrizel Jol Peshe Bairgato, Kadajit Apladesh Ha Gulam Hunzai, Peshe Justin Jal Bairzatil, and Monon. Mano Vika Satis Hatita Puna Uja Shashwati, this is a model, time model as a sarcastic the Anirka Kod Kursai and me, you do one moon article, Maratita article, Yetre Shakti, Jamari, Art Chapter Sai, Yetre Shakti, Tatrajevanam, Urja Akhidza Sidan, Rutuani, Urjas Rud, Soro Urja, Makai, Anurja, Minukasati, Anurja, Kami chapters, Ekil, Ani Ami Sarkarla, Ek model, Satiti Puna, the time sort of us. Commercial like a subtile, which I'm a severe precarious energy, Kitrano, take kill it. And a Muhe, me to the model. Dr. Ariel Kapurkar and Professor Dr. Ashish Power. So, this is the model that we have proposed. That is Bartasa Vikasa Sati Urja, Shashwat Urja, Shetraza Vikas. Sati, Kaika, Kitamere, Indicator, Suraja sale, Jay, Biomass energy sale, Consider, Wind energy sale, the Sagranza Ekatri. Supply is the Uja Soto Gatla, so Pulata, worshipper, Pulatne, Purapatne, put the problem that one integrated up with Hakan, which any that my time for which Uja Moise said, the Shasot Uja Shetras and Vikas, a good mod, and he modeled with Amiker Kapur Serani, Amitoganimun, Tayar Kurun, Amiha, it's a submit killer. Mitro Nyapada Suaj with Deputy Made, Chinese worship, Kam Kilan, the Uja Shetra, Uja School of Energy Studies. First, starting of the material science in the Shivaji department, starting the school of energy studies in the Shivaji University. Then, after completion of my tenure of the Shivaji University as a professor and the head of the physics department, I'm glad that Jaja's, whatever development we made the Shivaji University, I'm glad that my students who completed PhD degree, they were the head of the physics department and they have very well taken care of the growth of the PG department still today. Yesterday, you heard to Dr. P.S. Party. Similarly, Dr. Lokhande, now after my retirement uh, in the Department University, Dr. Lokhande is now the director. For, so it means that whatever I have developed or contributed for the energy or science, 
So they are being taken care of my PhD students. I'm glad that all these 75 PhD students, 52 from the Shivaji University and 25 from Shivaji University, they are meeting together. Actually, these students, they are from different places, not of the different ages, different areas. They have not seen to each other, but they are coming on first only because of they are spread all over the world. Some students are in Oxford, some students in VSA, some students in Germany, some students at Delhi. I'm glad that some of our PhD students, who, who Dr. Shugan, he is from Bidri. So he is, he is a, you know, I think NPL. They should be Salvat Mutti Prayusha, Asita to Motasha Sridhi. Nana Toranzo Udaran Sangit, Oxford Serka with their Padam Bay, Shivaj with their PhD departments, Divar Patil's PhDs with their Tito as. Physics are with that biomedic biomedical research centers of the Shamuk Kisatrani. Kijana COVID 19 Made, Jatta Punjilas, Apunjabolto. Still, thus, the Oxford with that with Honey, Sunasi organization had been a Matinikilate. The Chamadla, one of the best, best scientists joined. That's an answer. So he is a student of physics. Yes, sir, the physics student. It is the risk of I. Any attach and living with Namade. Samaj is a problem, a complex nature. No single discipline will be able to solve the problems of the society. For that purpose, there is a multi-faculty interdisciplinary research is a must. So when I took the charge of the vice chancellor of the Dwarf Patel in 19, 2000, 2007, I organized the, the multi-faculty research. That is the convergence of science, basic science, engineers, and doctors. Fortunately, my Dua Patel University is a medical university. In that medical university, there were 400, 700, 850 beds hospital, 400 senior doctors. And then I started in the International Research Center for bringing the science made doctors from the Dua Patel Medical College. Nearby, just 100 meters, there's a Dua Patel Engineering College, and then our center. So bringing all these businesses together, we have developed a very, very interesting program. Perhaps what are the outcome that is you'll be, you'll be able to see in my interview, which is which was demo, which was just published just a day before on the night on the event of Jawar Alan Nehru, Bharta Che Pahile Pant Pradhanansa Din the Chauce. Science and technology. And interview. Those are economies different exactly Bible Shastra. You can see that and the white chance are and there are different people who work together for global cooperation in education for to handle the challenge of 21st century. This is the thing. And Mitra Ho me he is a Kurushakura, me at the Sun Gitler, him Maza Tesakamu, he Maji Pataji Matlani. Uh him here Emma, I am here it is. And he said to me, Kal J. P. S. Patil, the pro high chancellor, I the me, uh, Dua Patil, the university, uh, don't have the Purvurastana, don't have Barasali, PhD program for medical higher education. If not, Kim does the program organized Kilam, and Techamade, uh, Maja with the PhD check with that is a great guy. They hear Dr. P. S. Patil, I had. Dr. C. H. Rajo Goshi, Dr. Lokunde, sir, PN Bosle from Chemistry, his Latayakal, Madam, PG Department, Lata Rajan Korela, the Rapun, the Sagre, PhD, say with Dirty. Ekatre Eun, Eka Nayaka, Nayaka, Ekatre, that is the Karna, sir. She was with that area, Madle, J. with Dirty. The staff with that, na, jaga madhe kutahi ta na sandhi madhavi. Chati, come together, ane eka meka sahiya karu, avga daru, supant, echa saati bhavishya bhavi pidi la, marvashni karna saati, bhavi pidi la, navin channel nirmana karna saati, e sagale vidyarthi, ek jodla, ekatra, etahed, eka skaran, 
हे भावी पिढीच पुढं त्यांना संधी उपलब्ध देणं आणि कुठं पाडेल तिथं त्यांना चालेल मिळणं ना हे मी सांगेल थँक्यू व्हेरी मच फॉर युअर पेशंट लिस्ट थँक्यू सर हे आज खरंच तुम्हाला बऱ्याच दिवसानंतर ऐकायला संधी मिळाली आणि खूप सुंदर पद्धतीनं तुम्ही एनर्जी कॉन्झर्वेशन आणि कन्व्हर्शन याबद्दल खूप डिटेल्स मध्ये सांगितलं सोलर एनर्जी असेल विद एनर्जी असेल ओसेन एनर्जी असेल न्युक्लिअर एनर्जी असेल बायोमास एनर्जी असेल आणि त्याच्यामध्ये करिअरची संधी आणि एनर्जी म्हणजे काय अगदी खूप साध्या सोप्या लँग्वेजमध्ये सांगितलेलं आहे तर मी वैयक्तिक मी आपले आभार मानतो त्याच पद्धतीने हे एम वी ऍक्टिव्हिटीज अंतर्गत जे जे काही महाविद्यालय आहेत त्या सर्वांच्या वतीनं मी आभार व्यक्त करतो आणि भावी आयुष्यासाठी सर तुम्हाला खूप साऱ्या शुभेच्छा देतो आणि मी इथं थांबतो किल्लेदार सरांना काय जर सांगायचं असेल तर ते सांगू शकतात प्रमुख वक्ते पी डी कंबले सर मी मनाप आभार व्यक्त करते प्रेजेंट आने सर्व शिक्षक सर्व विद्या सर्व मजे सहकारी सर्वान मी आभार व्यक्त करतो आणि जर कुणाला याच्यावर काही सरांना जर एक दोन प्रश्न विचारायचे असतील तर त्याने आपला माईक अनम्यूट करावा आणि सरांना प्रश्न विचारायला काही हरकत नाही हा तुम्ही डायरेक्ट तुमचा माईक अनम्यूट करा आणि बोला हॅलो हा दोन प्रश्न आपण घेणार आहोत हा किंवा तुमचा हँड रेज करा तिथून लक्षात येईल साक्षी पाटील यांनी हँड रेज केलेला होता बघा साक्षी पाटील असतील तर त्यांनी आपला प्रश्न विचारावा हॅलो साक्षी पाटील कोण आहेत का आणि एक गोष्ट आपण विद्यार्थी मित्रांनो लक्षात घेतली पाहिजे की प्रश्न रेस करायला आले पाहिजेत प्रश्न पडणे हेच संशोधनाची सुरुवात आहे लक्षात घ्या त्यामुळे पहिल्यांदा आपल्याला प्रश्न पडायला पाहिजे म्हणून त्याची उकल करणे म्हणजे होणारा संशोधन आहे त्यामुळे घाबरू नका तसं काय घाबरण्याचं कारण नाही काही विद्यार्थ्यांना जर शंका असेल माझ्या प्राध्यापक मित्रांना जरी शंका असेल तरी त्यांनी विचारलं तरी काय हरकत नाही आपण दोन एक प्रश्न फक्त घेणार आहोत अन्यथा आपण आजचा सेशन इथे पूर्ण करणार आहोत एक दोन मिनिटात बघा कोणाला विचारायचं असेल तर माईक अनम्यूट करा आणि तुमचा प्रश्न विचारा तर मला वाटतंय सरांच्या शंका सरांनी निरसन बोला सर आज आता हा सेशन जो क्वेश्चन आणि आन्सरचा सेशन जो आहे प्रश्न उत्तराचा या संदर्भात पार्टिसिपंटचा जो रिस्पॉन्स जो आहे त्या संदर्भात आज सकाळीच मी किल्लेदार सरांशी चर्चा झाली की कुठल्या या अशा प्रकारचा सेमिनार अरेंज करत असताना या सेमिनारच्या कार्यक्रमामध्ये आपण असा एक भाग ऍड करूया की सेमिनारच्या सुरुवातीला आपण असं डिक्लेअर करायचं की सेमिनारला अटेंड करत असताना पेन 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 कागद घेऊन बसायचं आणि शेवटी बेस्ट पार्टिसिपंट ऑफ द वेबिनार याच्यासाठी शेवटची स्लाईड प्रेझेंट करत असताना शेवटची स्लाईड हे त्या वक्त्यानं त्याच्यामध्ये दहा प्रश्न लिहायचे आणि जे दहा प्रश्न जो पार्टिसिपंट सॉल्व्ह करतो आणि ते जसं फॉर्म परत सबमिट करायचं त्या आधारे बेस्ट पार्टिसिपंट ऑफ द वेबिनार यासाठी एक एक प्राईस ठेवायचं आणि त्याच्यामुळं हे प्राईस त्यासाठी तो आणि विषय काय असेल तर व्हॉट यू हॅव हर्ड अँड अंडरस्टूड इन द वेबिनार म्हणजे हे त्या एक्झामिनेशनचा हा विषय असेल आणि त्या विषयासाठी फक्त 
जे स्पीकर असेल त्या स्पीकरनं शेवटची स्लाईड हे दहा प्रश्न फक्त लिहायचे आणि त्या दहा प्रश्नावरती तुम्हाला उत्तर जे तुमचं जे असेल ते प्रत्येक पार्टिसिपंट द्यायचं आणि बेस्ट ऑन दॅट वन कॅन सिलेक्ट द बेस्ट पार्टिसिपंट ऑफ द वेबिनार आणि त्याला एक त्या ऑर्गनायझेशन कडनं तर एक सर्टिफिकेट मिळेल तो हा ह्याने म्हणजे याचा फायदा असा की वेबिनार अरेंज करत असताना ऑर्गनायझर्सने एवढे कष्ट घेतलेले असतात मुलांच्यासाठी एवढे प्रयत्न करत असतात आणि खऱ्या अर्थानं चांगली मुलं तयार व्हावीत त्यांना समजावं त्यामुळे हे जे वेबिनार आहेत ते फक्त इतिहासासारखे तास असू नयेत फक्त गोष्टी सारख्या तर त्याच्यात ना खऱ्या अर्थानं अटेंटिव्हनेस तुमचा किती आहे तुम्ही तो टॉपिक मध्ये किती आहे अटेंटिव्ह करताय आणि अवघड काही नाही फक्त तुमच्या सेमिनारला सुरुवात बसा बसण्याच्या वेळी तुमच्याकडे एक पेन आणि कागद घेऊन हा काय सांगितलं हे सांगितलं आणि त्याच्या माहिती तुम्हाला फायदा असा आहे की तुम्हाला खूप चांगलं एकतर ऑटोमॅटिकली त्यामुळे अटेंड करेल काल पी एस पाटील सरांनी सांगितलं की फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंटच्या विद्यार्थ्यांना आम्हाला जे ह्या विद्यापीठ डिग्री मिळतात त्या विद्यापीठांना डिग्री द्यायच्या अगोदर वर्षातनं एकदा त्या विद्यार्थ्याची विजिट ही युनिव्हर्सिटीला केली पाहिजे मित्रो तुम्हाला आठवत असेल की एकोणीसशे पंच्याण्णव साली ज्यावेळेला मी विभाग प्रमुख झालो नव्वद ते पंच्याण्णव सालामध्ये जर आपण मागचा इथं जर बघितला पी जी डिपार्टमेंटचा तेव्हा पी जी डिपार्टमेंटमध्ये संपूर्ण युनिव्हर्सिटीमध्ये अशी परिस्थिती होती की कॉलेजला फिजिक्स मला बीएससी फिजिक्सला विद्यार्थी मिळत नव्हते आणि शोधून आणावं लागायचे आणि म्हणून एकोणीसशे पंच्याण्णव साली ज्यावेळेला विभाग प्रमुख झालो त्यावेळेला मी एक हेच केम आली अॅन्युअल मीट ऑफ फिजिक्स स्टुडंट्स इन शिवाजी युनिव्हर्सिटी एक एकतीस डिसेंबरला आपल्याला माहित आहे एकतीस डिसेंबर जनरली विद्यार्थी हे सगळे ऍट द एंड ऑफ द इयर दे आर इन द मोड ऑफ एन्जॉयमेंट आणि रात्रभर जागणं आणि दंगा करणं वगैरे त्या धर्तीवरती आम्ही एकोणीसशे पंच्याण्णवला पहिली अॅन्युअल फिजिक्स स्टुडंट ज्या वेळेला घेतली आणि त्यावेळेला सगळ्या कॉलेजमधल्या आम्ही ते सर्क्युलेट केलं मला सांगायला आनंद वाटतो की शिवाजी विद्यापीठातल्या एरियामधले त्यावेळेस चार जिल्हे होते सांगली सातारा सोलापूर कोल्हापूर या चारही जिल्ह्यातल्या फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंटचे बी एस सीचे विद्यार्थी प्रत्येक कॉलेजमध्ये गाडी करून एक प्राध्यापक आणि दहा पंधरा बी एस सीचे विद्यार्थी दे केम ओव्हर ते कॅम्पस मध्ये आले सकाळी अकराला सेशन शाहू हॉल मध्ये मुख्य कार्यक्रम आणि त्यानंतर दुपारनंतर डिपार्टमेंटला व्हिजिट आणि शेवटी सगळं झाल्यानंतर ऍट द एंड ऑफ द डे म्हणजे साडेपाच ते सहा या साडेपाच ते सहा मध्ये एक प्रत्येक पार्टिसिपंटला प्रत्येक विद्यार्थ्याला पार्ट व्हॉट यू हॅव अर्न अँड व्हॉट यू व्हॉट यू हॅव सीन अँड व्हॉट यू हॅव लर्न इन द मिटिंग असं पंचवीस पंचवीस ते पन्नास प्रश्न द्यायचे ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह टाईप द्यायचे आणि मग तोपर्यंत परीक्षा झाल्यानंतर मग आम्ही व्हॅलिडिटी फंक्शन आणि ते मग त्याच्यानं बेस्ट स्टुडंट ऑफ द कुणी त्याचा बेस्ट अवॉर्ड निळ्या कॉलेजमध्ये अवॉर्ड दिले ती स्कीम जवळ जवळ आम्ही पाच वर्षांतर पडत अन्युअल मीडिया शॉरी फिजी स्टुडंट चालू केली मुलांना एवढा फायदा झाला की एकतीस एकतीस डिसेंबरची प्रत्येक कॉलेजमधनं वाट बघत असायची आणि येताना सकाळी रात्रभर प्रवास करून सकाळी यायचे दिवसभर हा कार्यक्रम अटेंड करायचे दुपारी जाताना डबा घेऊन डबा घेऊन आणला असायचे कॅम्पसवरून डबा खायचे आणि संध्याकाळी म्हणजे अन्युअल मीट झाल्यानंतर परत जायचे कंटिन्युअस पाच वर्ष एवढा त्याचा रिस्पॉन्स मिळाला की फिजिक्स डिपार्टमेंट त्याच्यानंतर जी विद्यार्थी संख्या बी एस सीला एनरोलमेंट करायची कितीतरी पटीनं वाढली आणि ते कितीतरी मुलं त्यांना फायदा असा झाला की त्यांना रिसर्च पुढे जॉईन झाले आणि ते पुढे हे केले तर अटेंटिव्हनेस हा खूप महत्वाचा विचार चल तर धन्यवाद सर तुम्ही जी काही सूचना केली कारण यावर तुम्ही मला सकाळी मेसेज टाकला होता पण मी जरा कॉलेजच्या कामात जास्त बिझी असल्या कारणाने मलाही ते थोडस करणं फिजिबल नसल्यामुळे आपण ती सूचना मी लक्षात घेतली नाही पण येत्या पुढच्या काळामध्ये मात्र आपण ज्यावेळी वेबिनार ऑर्गनाईज करू त्या अगोदर हा तुमचा आम्ही नक्की लक्षात घेऊ आणि त्याप्रमाणे नियोजन करू जेणेकरून पार्टिसिपेंटचा अटेंडिव्हनेस जो आहे तो सर म्हणाले त्याप्रमाणे महत्वाचा आहे म्हणजे आपण इंटरेस्ट घेणं फार गरजेचं आहे लक्षात घ्यायचं सरांचा उद्देश तोच आहे 
तुमचं उगच एकदा जाईन व्हायचं आणि मोबाईल कॅमेरा बंद करून बाजूला ठेवायचा असं होऊ नये एवढं सिरियसली ते ऐकायला पाहिजे आणि त्याच्यावरती चूज दिली पाहिजे म्हणजे तुमचं नॉलेज खरोखर एनरिच झालंय का नाही हे त्यातनं समजून येईल धन्यवाद सर आपल्या सूचनेबद्दल कांबळे सरांनी या सेशनचं चेअरमनशिप केली पवारसाठी या ठिकाणी त्यांचा बहुमोल वेळ देऊन आम्हाला मार्गदर्शन केलं त्याचबरोबर आपण सर्वजण या वेबिनारमध्ये जॉईन झालात त्याबद्दल पुन्हा एकदा माझ्या विभागाच्या वतीने माझ्या महाविद्यालयाच्या वतीने सर्व माझ्या सहकारी महाविद्यालयाच्या वतीने आपला सर्वांचा आभार व्यक्त करतो आणि थांबतो धन्यवाद थँक यू व्हेरी मच बेस्ट ऑफ लक टू यू फॉर युअर फर्दर ऍक्टिव्हिटीज ऑल द बेस्ट थँक यू सर थँक यू आणि प्रदीप थँक यू व्हेरी मच फॉर इंट्रोड्युसिंग मी व्हेरी नाईसली परत त्याच प्रति नाही एकोणीसशे पंच्याण्णवचं सांगतो आणि परत तुमचं म्हणजे आठवण एवढ्या शांत म्हणजे नाही तुमचं सर तुमचं मार्गदर्शन तुमच्याकडे बघूनच आम्ही मोठे झालो आहोत आणि एक आदर्श व्यक्तिमत्व तुम्ही आमच्यासाठी आहे फिजिक्सच्या सगळ्या टीचरांच्यासाठी किंवा मुलांच्यासाठी आणि म्हणून तुम्हाला उद्देश का आमचं किल्लेदार सरांचं जे माझं पूर्ण झालं एस एस पवार सरांचं आपण लेक्चर ठेवूया तर याच्यामध्ये काय झालं सर की एक ह्या वयात सुद्धा एक डायनामिक पर्सनॅलिटी काय असते ते आम्हाला मुलांना दाखवायचं होतं एक त्यांच्यामध्ये उत्साह निर्माण करायचा होता हा त्याच्यामध्ये मला चौथी होतो सर म्हणून तुमचं लेक्चर ठरव ठेवायचं ते आम्ही दोघांनी ठरवलं होतं सर त्यामुळं आभार आहे तुम्ही पण स्वीकारलं इन्व्हिटेशन आणि थँक्यू सर ऑल द बेस्ट गुड नाईट थँक्यू सर मीटिंग एंड करा आणि ओके थँक्यू Thank you.